The Made by Google 22 event just finished and we're going to talk about the Pixel 7 and the 7 Pro, the Pixel Watch, the Pixel Tablets, and how Google took shots at Apple. Gadget Beard. What's up Gadgeteers? My name is Hector and this is Gadget Beard. And on this channel, I unbox and review everyday tech, gadgets, and accessories for you. And in today's video, we're going to talk about everything they just announced at the Made by Google 22 event. Yeah, Pixel, Pixel, hashtag Team Pixel, baby, in the house. So let's start with the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro. Now, this is a more redefined refresh of last year's Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro. They kind of changed the camera bar a little bit and went full metal full metal jacket on that so i personally like it they, they went with the stainless steel band around the edge of the phone and came across the camera lens as well uh the colors are nice and subtle and unique the pixel 7 matted edges i absolutely like i wish they would give you this option in the pixel 7 pro uh but the pre Pixel 7 Pro is more of a premium device and they like to stick with the shiny metals, if you know what I mean. But the colors are absolutely fantastic. For the Pixel 7, you have lemongrass, you have snow, and you have obsidian. And for the 7 Pro, you're gonna get, uh, you're not gonna get lemongrass, but you are gonna get hazel, snow, and obsidian as well. Now these colors absolutely look fantastic. They, I like how they contrast the uh, border, the bezel of the phone itself with the camera lens, how it, it just makes it look more elegant on both of these phones, the Pixel 7 and the 7 Pro. Along with this new refresh, we do have the Tensor Chip Gen 2. Now, according to Google, this is gonna give us better power more power it's going to open up capabilities and more features for the new pixel 7 pro one of the things that i really like to focus on here yeah we had a lot of new stuff but one of the key things that i really liked was that they focused and made improvements to the video capabilities of the pixel 7 and 7 pro now some of these capabilities that they kind of pointed out is the cinematic blur so it's almost like portrait mode but in cinema so uh, it's going to give you more of a cinematic video quality where it kind of blurs out the background when recording video when you have a a subject on in focus um some people say it's a gimmick some people say it's not uh i want to be the judge of that when that comes out i can't wait to try that new feature uh, but along with cinematic blur, they did say it records in 10 bit HDR. That's going to give you more lifelike video quality. And with that HDR uh, 10 bit, they did partner with Snap, TikTok, and YouTube. So when you share your uh, videos on social media platforms, it's going to take advantage of that 10 bit HDR video. So your videos are going to be more vibrant, more contrast, better looking videos than what you're used to according to any other android or apple users our videos look like crap which they don't along with that we also have active stabilization which is gonna make everything stable when recording on action uh footages or just in general now google was a pioneer to this i think with the pixel 3 if i'm not mistaken uh, the stabilization on that phone was absolutely fantastic when it came to video. And we are getting better autofocus, so it's going to do a better job in focusing, keeping your subject in focus when doing run and shoot or stuff like that uh, with the active stabilization. Also, when you're following somebody uh, or running or anything like that, it's going to do a better job of keeping your object in focus and last but not least uh they did say that speech enhancement in 4k 60 fps across all pixel 7 and 7 pro cameras that's a absolutely beast so speech enhancement is so when you're recording like i am right now and there's a lot of background noise it's gonna eliminate some of that background noise and focus more on the voice is going to pull out the audio and and make your voice more clearly uh 
heard throughout the video so that is pretty cool when it comes to um, content creators when using the pixel as your main device uh, you can sit there and blog and stuff and you're gonna hear yourself very coming across the video very loud and clear uh, but those are some of the video capabilities that they announced today when it comes to the pixel 7 and 7 pro they did also state that Google's camera is one of the best out there and if not uh, leading cameras out there but one of the best points they made uh, today was that it keeps the same great price from last year's model uh, the pixel 7 is going to run you 599 the pixel 7 pro is going to run you 899 and they say there's plenty of discounts you can take advantage with trade-ins and stuff like that with their partners so this is a very very affordable pixel 7 and 7 pro which i absolutely like moving on to the pixel watch now the pixel watch in my opinion looks absolutely fantastic i can't wait to get like uh third party watch bands or third party like like this uh rugged uh shock resistant spigen for the this is the i think the watch for the galaxy watch 4 you know how it adds this kind of jeek shock uh kind of look to the watch i can't wait for those accessories come out of the pixel watch now i know a lot of people are saying that the pixel watch is a little expensive uh, i think for the lte model it's 399 and for the regular wi-fi model is 350 um it is a high premium quality watch it is integrated with fitbit as you know uh google acquired fitbit a while back and so now they're putting the both the companies and kind of giving you the best experience when it comes to a smartwatch when you integrate ai which is the google assistant uh the fitness tracking with fitbit and the whole wear os ecosystem you know what i'm saying the messaging and all that all comes together with this new pixel watch let me know what do you think about the pixel watch are you thinking about picking one up i hopefully am getting one if team pixel doesn't send me one i'm most definitely going to get one myself uh the tablet the pixel tablet is coming in 2023 now i kind of like the concept of the pixel tablet with the pixel stand but what i didn't like what i like to see they give you a bunch of features saying that your tablet mostly spends its day and time 80 percent at home uh but uh, what i really like with the stand is that the stand the pixel tablet connects to the stand magnetically and then the stand itself is a speaker like a smart speaker but what i would have liked to see is when you connect the tablet to the speaker and the stand itself it turns into a google nest hub you know what i'm saying like what you have at home just the nest hub feature where it gives you the nest hub i didn't see that happen i, I still saw the tablet interface i would have liked to see when you connect it to the stand it create it converts into like a nest hub that would have been absolutely fantastic and when you pull the tablet off of the stand now it becomes a google tablet so you can go ahead and watch media or anything like that or when you connect it to the stand it goes into the nest hub the smart home kind of feature and if you want to exit out of that then you have an option to exit out of that and use it as a tablet i would like to see that i don't think they show that correct me in the comments if i'm wrong uh, but I didn't see that on there. This is the moment you guys been waiting for. These shots they took at Apple. Oh yeah, there was like two of them. You know what I'm saying, there was two of them. Pixel has always been a leader in smartphone innovation. And we take it as a compliment when others in the industry follow our lead. Like the always on display and at a glance introduced with Pixel 2, putting useful info right on your lock screen. And there's Night Sight which launched with Pixel 3 and Astrophotography, which set a new bar for low light photography on a smartphone. And we introduced car crash detection three years ago, along with other important ways to keep you safe, like safety check and emergency sharing. It's an amazing track record of pioneering features that were first on Pixel. The first one they took was with the uh, Pixel crash detection. They came out and said it, yeah, we launched this three years ago, three, three years ago and apple is just launching it now so they made it a clear point stating that they were the first to launch that and they launched it three years ago they were the first to launch pixel night sight and then 
They launched that with the Pixel 3, I believe they said, and they made it clear that they were an innovating company that launched new features and that the rest of the industry copies them. <laughs> I don't know. That's at least that's what I got from it. And also they took a shot at Apple with uh, the messaging app, the RCS. And when it comes to text messages, Pixel uses RCS for enhanced media sharing and end-to-end -end encryption. RCS is the modern industry standard for messaging, and it's already been adopted by most of the industry. <laughs> we hope every device maker gets the message and adopts RCS, making texting better for every smartphone user. Uh, a lot of the industry is going RCS, and they kind of made it a point that not everyone's going RCS, and they're hoping to everybody integrate that new technology. So my message to Apple with that is if you're so confident in your iPhones and your ecosystem and your product, why not just support RCS? Why, why are you scared that your iPhone users are going to leave if you're so confident? Now, if, if you're so confident in your phone, you're producing the best products, the best features, they're going to stay regardless of that. It's just going to create a better ecosystem for us to communicate with each other because not everybody likes Android and not everybody likes Apple. So why not just let us text each other? Come on, Apple. Don't hold your iPhone users hostage. Are you guys holding them hostage because you don't, you're, you're saying you're so confident in your new product and your iPhones that that oh with all these features and all this leading this and this and that but yet you don't want to support rcs let me know down in the comment section below why do you think apple does not want to support rcs that is my little rant hmm so there you have it guys that was your made by google 22 event let me know down in the comment section below it what do you guys think thought about the event are you picking up any of the products that were announced today the pixel 7 7 pro pixel watch the tablet that's coming next year let me know down in the comment section below again thanks for watching please like share and subscribe and like always i'll catch you guys on the next one peace